Now, the SEO Summit, a meeting of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, will see the global leaders descending on to Samarkand, an Uzbek city that is rich with history and culture. And our correspondent, Sidan Sibyl, tells you more about the city that is all set to host this mega summit. Samarkand, Uzbekistan's cultural capital, is a city at the crossroads of history, one of the oldest inhabited cities of Central Asia. It was a key trading post in the fabled Silk Route that connected ancient India, China and Europe. Well, Samarkand is known as the cultural capital of Uzbekistan. I'm standing in front of Registan, which means desert in Persian. And this place is a public square where royal proclamations were made. Now, uh, this place, of course, has a commanding presence. Uh, and the blue tiles, uh, as you can see, uh, has become a symbol of Uzbekistan in many ways. Uh, but largely, uh, if we talk about this area, it has three madarsas. You can see behind me the three madarsas here. And that madarsa is known as the uh, Sher Madarsa. Sher is the term which is used, which we all know means tiger. That shows the common words which uh, uh, Indians speak and people from Uzbekistan speak. So whether it's the monument or whether it is uh, the language, uh, uh, the usage of common words, it shows uh, the cultural linkages between the two sides uh, and how and why India has been emphasizing on saying that uh, Central Asia is part of its extended neighborhood. And uh, that is very amply seen here at Registan, which is essentially the symbol of Samarkand and also Uzbekistan. The depiction of living being on Madrasa door is in violation of Orthodox Islam. And sun symbols hint at the influence of Zoroastrianism in Samarkand's early history. The Ulug Beg is flanked by minarets. The Tilia Kori Madrasa has a residential college for students and plays the role of the Grand Mosque as well. Not far from this culturally and architecturally rich city is the Shah Isinda. It is a necropolis and according to legends, Qutam ibn Abbas, a cousin of the Prophet Muhammad, is buried here. The place has many mausoleums, including that of Timur's niece Shadi Mulk Aga and Timur's sister Shirin Bika Aga. The place is adorned with blue tiles and calligraphy, symbolic of the Islamic empires that once ruled this land and its people. According to legend, Ibn Abbas came to Samarkand in the 7th century. He was the cousin and close associate of Prophet Muhammad. He was beheaded and it's said that uh, he went to the Garden of Paradise here in Shah Zinda and he continues to live here. That's the legend. But legends aside, this place is laced with history, with tombs of uh, other uh, people as well, including the relatives of Timur. Well, I'm standing in front of the Bibi Khanu Mosque. This mosque is named after Temur's favorite wife. And uh, Temur built this mosque after his invasion of India, ransacking the then richest city on earth, uh, Delhi, which was under the Tughlaq dynasty. Now, this mosque uh, at that time was the largest mosque of the Islamic world and continues to be one of the largest mosques uh, even uh, today. But of course, today uh, people do not pray here but today of course this is a, a heritage site where people come a lot of tourists come to this uh, place and there is a, a, a stand Quran stand as well it used to hold the Quran which Timur brought and uh, that Quran was taken by the Russians but again returned uh, to the Uzbekis for Timur, the conquest of Delhi, one of the richest cities of that time, gave him an unending stream of finances to fund the building of Samarkand. While in Samarkand, you can't miss the resemblance when it comes to monuments here in Samarkand and the monuments in Delhi. There is a resemblance and this shows the connect between Uzbekistan and India. And not for nothing, New Delhi says that it sees Central Asia as part of its extended neighborhood because of the culture connect and the historic connect. With video journalist Sajid Sidhansibal for Vion at the Bibi Khanu Mosque in 
Samarkand Uzbekistan We on now available in your country download the app and get all the news on the move